Well, welcome Air Signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message. Weekend commencing Friday the 5th of February through to Sunday the 7th of February 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards and I'm smiling right now. Um, let's have a look and see what they're telling us. So, uh, Air Signs, your first card is yes. And your second crowning message card is no need to worry. I don't think I really need to say anything more, do I really? Whoever you are thinking about um, air signs, I feel as though the answer uh, to your question pertaining to this person is an absolute smackaroony yes. And there is no need to worry. I feel as though you're being guided to know that this whoever you're connecting to, it's all good. Um, I feel as though this weekend you may get clarity um, as to how this person is feeling about you. If there were concerns around this connection, uncertainty, insecurity, I feel as though you're being guided real strongly that there's no need to worry. Your spirit team, your higher self, divine spirit universe is 100% um, in the background, working on your behalf, working on behalf of this connection. So it is an absolute yes, air signs. Those people that you are thinking about, um, whatever the situation is, there is no need to worry. And it's a big fat yes. And for your crowning wisdom message, we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you and now so with this no need to worry i think it's really important um air signs this weekend to keep your vibration up if you have any doubt fear or anxiety or insecurity try really hard to just clear out that energy make sure that your your thoughts um, gestures, your actions are really positive. Be real clear what it is you want um, so that your spirit team um, can come in and bring in your heart's desire. And then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Absolutely. Whoever you are connected to, I feel as though um, you are being guided to know that all is well. Um, try and remove doubt, anxiety, insecurities. The attraction is there um, physically, but also I feel as though in terms of moving forward with this person, whoever you're thinking about, it is an absolute yes and there is no need to worry. Okay, Air Signs, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video. Returning subscribers, thank you so much for all of your support, all of your donations. I am truly, truly grateful. Those who are new to the channel, if this is resonating for you and you'd like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please do feel free to click that subscription button. Um, yeah. Yeah, please feel free to subscribe um, Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. All right, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday, the 5th of February through to Sunday the 7th of February 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini, Libra and Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, let's start with our beautiful Geminis. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you, thank you. So we have the nine of wands. Thank you. We have, wow, the ace of cups, beautiful. And one more, please, for our beautiful energy of Gemini. How does the soulmates of Gemini, sun, moon, oh, that's too many. 
How does the soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards? Thank you. And we have the King of Coins. Lovely. Okay. And Libra, please. Thank you. We have the Five of Wands. We have the uh, Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. Okay. Bit of conflict going on. All right. Uh, Aquarius, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Whoops. We have the moon card and we have the two of swords. And just one more, please, for Aquarius, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 5th of February through to Sunday the 7th of February 2020. Oh, well, do you know what? We've got two cards and I feel as though they're saying to me to take it. Um, so Aquarius, you've got a bonus card. So you've got the uh, Seven of Wands and the Knight of Coins. All right. OK, so let us place our Libras just down here for a hot minute. And our Aquarius is, we're just going to pop you up here. All right. So our focus now is on Gemini, Geminis. Okay, so we have um, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups and the King of Coins. So Gemini, I feel as though the person that you are connected to, I feel as though they may be putting other interests behind them if they had options. Um, I feel as though if um, they were a bit unsure um, whether or not they should be coming or pursuing you in some way. I feel as though they very soon are going to make a very clear decision uh, to move forward and surrender to this connection with you. And it's because they see that you have this unconditional love for them. And I feel as though, Gemini, you have this unconditional love for them as well. Um, so this is mutual um, reciprocated love between the two of you, unconditional. And I feel as though uh, you're being got your energy, male or female, you're coming in as that king of um, pentacles, somebody that's coming in slow and steady. You are balanced, you are nurturing. And I feel as though you do want to make an offer to this person. Um, if you are being a a bit undecisive, not sure, um, because this person perhaps in the past has not been very reciprocal to your um, emotions, to your gestures or actions. I feel as though you're being guided to clearly, I feel like, I feel like saying to you, stay firm, stay firm in your belief of this love, um, because uh, it's, it, it, I feel that you need to clearly decide that you are still going to take that, that, that strong, steady pace um, towards this person um, so that your spirit team um, can bring in this desire of this mutual love. Because the answer is yes, there is massive chemistry between the two of you. And yes, they are leaving behind um, relationships that didn't serve them and surrendering to divine with you. So there is no need to worry whatsoever. And I feel as though this is happening very soon. All right, let's get into your clarifications. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does the... Woo, oh gosh. All right, they're obviously going to come quite thick and fast. All right, <laughs> look at that. With the um, Knight of Wands, yeah, they're coming. They may have been a little bit inconsistent in the past, which is why I feel as though um, 
divine spirit is saying there's no need to worry because I feel as though they're coming in quite strongly um, and look at that the sun card victory um this person sees you as victorious um that is why they are surrendering to this divine where they have perhaps been a little bit inconsistent in the past i feel as though that's all closing out they recognize there is strong chemistry um there is no need to worry with you you're solid you're balanced you're nurturing um and i feel as though they do see you as um, victorious, a uh, vi victorious connection for them. The answer is yes. It's like they've had a bit of a wake up call, and with the three of um, uh, pentacles, I feel as though this person does want to put in the work now. Woo. Okay. Oh. All right. That's far too many cards. Um, but there's, uh, they're saying to me to to put down this card which is the ten of wands as it was separate um and i feel as though uh gemini on your side not knowing how this person was feeling about you i feel as though it was quite burdensome for you having all of this love for this person particularly if there were other people um other people that were interested in them they're putting them all behind them surrendering to just you because that's where they see the vic victory okay wanting to put the work in but for you it may have been really burdensome because they were quite back and forth but there's no need to worry now for sure okay thank you and uh, yeah this person makes you happy and I feel as though you see them as marriage material for sure. That's why it was so burdensome because I feel for you, um, Gemini, you you see the potential. That's why I feel and that's that's why I feel earlier me saying, uh, you know, I feel that you need to stay firm and grounded in your belief of this love because this person does have a lot of love for you. You for you, they are your happiness. And with the um, Hierophant card coming up here, I feel as though this person you see as marriage material. And you know what? Yes, yes, they are marriage materials. So stay firm in your belief. Be clear um, in your belief that they do make you happy. You do see them as marriage material. I feel as though, yes, it's time to put down that burden because there is no need to worry. The chemistry is there where they've been inconsistent in the past, which was burdensome for you. Um, that can all be let go now. No need to worry. And one more card, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you tell me how? Thank you. I've got two more. OK, so we have got. Yeah, I feel as though you were on the verge of walking away from this connection with that eight of cups um, simply because I feel as though they've been inconsistent in the past. Um, and as they come towards you, I feel that's going to start this weekend because they see you as victory. They may even see the fact that you were walking away. That's why they have got to make a very clear decision to come towards you. And I think, yes, they will. So there is no need to worry. Um, and I feel as you may have walked away or they see you as walking away, you're now going to be uh, also surrendering to this connection. So I feel as though, you know, they're surrendering to this connection with you. I feel as though it's been quite burdensome because they have been inconsistent. They now see victory. They now see, yes, uh, Gemini is the person that I do want to be with. They are the person for me. They want to put the, the work in. Um, but it's been burdensome for you. And um, particularly if there have been other people that have been interested in them, in them it, it's as though, you know, it, it's been hard for you to see that. But they do make you happy. You do see them as marriage material. I feel as though you're probably on the verge of walking away. That's why I feel your wisdom message very soon, very soon. Surrender to this connection. Don't walk away too quick, Gemini, um, because I feel as though this person is coming in um, with victory uh, to be with you. Both of you have this unconditional love for each other. Um, with the Hierophant here, you could be dealing with somebody that has 
uh, Taurus in their chart or you may have Taurus in your chart as well. Let's have a look at your advice message. Oh, thank you. First advice is your inner strength can and will move mountains what did i say stay firm in your belief in this love it may have been really burdensome seeing them you know with taking interest in other people that may be interested in them but i feel as though this weekend this weekend they categorically i feel are making clear decision to be with you so stay strong in your conviction slow and steady wins the race they know that you're balanced grounded nurturing solid okay and that they know that the love that you have for them is unconditional you're not mucking around with this person and look at that be patient all is well um gemini i don't think there's anything clearer than um i feel as if you're ready to to walk um and i feel as though divine spirit is coming in very strongly to say there is no need to worry yes this person you do have chemistry with they are choosing you surrender to this connection surrender to the strength and the belief that you have that there is unconditional love and be patient because all is well and we've got two extra ones and we've got here your loved ones are guiding you from above families everything always make sure you acknowledge this so i feel as though um gemini's those of you um that have past one past loved ones that have moved on i feel as though they are guiding this connection um i feel as though your spirit team your angels are also guiding you um to hold your strength hold your firm and your conviction because i don't think it's you know it's all it's not all in your head um, this unconditional love that you feel this person has for you, you know that you have for them. It's been burdensome watching them um, having their little tete-a-tetes with other people. But you know what? No more. Um, they have been inconsistent. No more. Um, be patient. All is well. You may have leaned on your family through this period of um, burdensome watching this person not reciprocate your emotions and I feel as though you're being guided to just thank them um, because they may be a pillar of strength for you they may be telling you you know um, you know so you've got your loved ones your family loved ones here um, in this lifetime um, currently living supporting you guiding you strengthen you but you've also got your loved ones that have passed and um, they're also guiding and strengthening this connection beautiful gemini all right let's move over to our libras okay so we have our Libra. So we have the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. OK, so Libras, I feel as though the person that you're connecting with um, definitely feels uh, conflicted. Um, but I feel as though they're in the process this weekend of very, very soon clearly deciding what it is they want and i feel it's um this internal conflict that they're having they're coming to the realization that they have no need to worry with you you're there you're solid the chemistry is strong um and the answer is yes there could be some truth that they want to come in and speak to you about um and I feel as though you're waiting for truth. You're waiting for them to almost make a decision like, are you in this with me or are you not? And I feel as though the answer is yes, no need to worry. Very soon, they're going to be clearly deciding what is it they want. Um, also as well, Libra, they also may feel as if there's competition um, for you as well. That's just a, an extra message coming in there. And yeah, I feel as though 
Uh, this is your energy. Uh, they see you as this empress energy for sure. Somebody um, that they hold in high regard. They see you as nurturing. They may want to have a family with you. Um, there may have been some sort of tower moment or this internal conflict may have shut down communication or um, um, closed them off from speaking their truth. And that may have caused a bit of disruption, um, hence why you may be feeling like, look, are you in this with me or are you not? Um, and I feel as though some truth is going to be spoken, either you or them or both of you, to clear out this drama. Because I feel as though it, it created a bit of a, um, a, a little bit of a, a, a ripple, um, a derailment in the connection. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does the soulmates of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. Uh, look at that. We have got the uh, magician coming in. So I feel as though this person is... Um, uh, manifesting speaking truth wanting to speak truth manifesting clearing out this drama clearing out this conflict making a very clear decision that it is you that they want to be with no need to worry my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you and yeah, look at that. This person wants to build a future with you. That's the truth. I feel that they want to speak or you want to speak truth to them, that you want to build a future with with them. But I feel as though that they're manifesting building this future with you. You certainly want to build a future with them, but you're waiting, waiting patiently. I feel to make a decision and I feel as if they will. The answer is yes. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you thank you? Yeah. And this is your energy coming in with that nine of pentacles. I feel as though this is how um, this person sees you or you may see this person as somebody that is independent, wise, balance somebody that's created a uh, quite an abundant environment around them but i feel as though this connection is very financially abundant between the two of you it almost feels as if finances are coming together you guys can create i feel a lot of money um as a unit to be honest um but whether this is your energy um, Libra, I feel as though you've kind of got your shit together. Um, you may feel as though this person also has their shit together as well, but you're waiting. I feel this is your energy. You are waiting to speak your truth, to let them know that you want to build a future with them. And one more card, please. How up? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, this is you waiting. Um, we've got the two of um, two of ones here, the two and the three followed. So it's like you it's like you don't know what path to take with this person to speak your truth. And I feel as though you're waiting patiently, not sure what to do, what action to take. And do you know what? I feel as though you don't need to do anything. Because I feel as though they're the ones that needs to sort out this internal conflict. Or if they feel that you've got other people that are interested in you, I feel as though they need, they're going to be working that out and making a decision to come towards you. Them being quite silent, I feel as though it created a bit of drama between the two of you. And I feel as though they're manifesting, wishing, wanting, um, praying, um, manifesting setting the intentions to speak truth to you because I feel as though they see you as somebody that does want to build a future with them. That's, this is definitely your energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, and that you may have pulled back your energy a little bit, Libra, which is why I feel that you're at this crossroads. How, what action do you take? And I feel the action at the moment is you're being still, you're just waiting, you're waiting for them 
to come in and speak their truth so that you can speak your truth that actually you do want to build a future with them. Let's have a look at your advice. Whoop. Okay, the first one is what seems impossible is possible. Believe absolutely, um, Libra. Um, whatever you have been waiting for, the answer is yes. There's no need to worry. This person's coming in very soon. Coming in very soon. What you think is what you create. So I feel as though you're being guided to just be mindful of what you think, um, what you put out there. If this person has um, created a little bit of unnecessary drama because they've not spoken their truth or they've been in conflicted internally, um, I feel as though you're being guided to keep your vibration up so that they can come through to you. You know you can do it. <laughs> so you know you can do it. You know that you can um, continue waiting the wait until they come in. You know that um, you can keep your vibration up. I feel as if Libra just want to say to you, hold the faith. Your spirit team is around you. There is no need to worry. I feel as though they are going to make a very clear decision to come towards you to speak truth because that's what they're manifesting. And I feel that you're being guided to just clearly decide yes this is the person that i want and hold the faith hold the faith on that believe in the impossible for sure all right and finally let's move on to our aquariuses okay so aquarius so we had a bonus card for you all right, so Aquarius, I feel as though whoever you're connecting to, they may not know um, how you feel about them, all right? Something is coming, something in the darkness is coming into the light. I feel as though they're having a bit of a aha clarity moment around the chemistry between the two of you. Very soon making a decision clearly that they do want to be with you because evidently I feel as if you want to fight for this connection. They may want to fight for this connection, but they're not sure how to communicate. Um, perhaps answer the question, how do you feel about me? Um, they may feel as though um, there needs to be movement, but not quite sure how to move forward. Um, simply because uh, they don't know how you feel. You could be dealing with somebody that has Pisces in their chart. They can see clearly that something has to move. And I feel as though they're being guided that there is no need to worry because I feel as though you have a lot of emotion for this person because you do want to fight for this connection. Um, Aquarius, I feel as though you're coming in quite steady as well with that Knight of Coins. Um, they see you as somebody that's stable, nurturing, uh, with a solid offer. And I feel as if you want to fight for this connection. Um, let's have a look at your clarifiers. But they're not sure how to progress with you. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. Yep. Yeah. They do want to celebrate this connection, even though they don't know how you feel about them. I feel as though they've had a bit of an aha moment, realising actually um, there is no need to worry. Um, the answer is yes when it comes to you. Still not quite sure how to progress this connection. They can see that they have to. That veil, they can see very clearly. Um, and they do want to celebrate this connection with you. Thank you. Yeah, and it's because with that six of wands, um, they feel victorious. Um, they are putting um, behind them um, other people, um, you know, knowing that you are the one for them. Um, yeah, because they, they feel as though the chemistry between the two of you is is off the chart. It, it, it's as if, you know, if this person um, kind of pulled away for a hot minute, they can't ignore um, the magnet magnetism um, between this connection. It, 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 they can't ignore it. Um, 
And that's why they want to celebrate this connection with you now. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them? Thank you. And we have the justice card coming out here. I feel as though this person wants to reconcile. So I feel as though uh, Aquarius, you and this person may have kind of just slightly separated for, for a hot minute. Um, and I feel as though they do want to reconcile, feeling victorious that you are the one for them, um, wanting to balance out this connection and speak their truth with that king of um, swords coming in. You want to fight for this connection because I feel <coughs> Aquarius, your energy is coming in as that queen of cups coming towards this person who you see as somebody I feel that you hold in high regard. They may be quite blunt. They may not be great with communication, quite decisive. Um, but I feel as though they want to balance out and speak some sort of truth, knowing that they have to do it, not quite sure how to do it, but they do see you as somebody with this cup of love that's coming towards them. And I feel as though you're fighting for this connection and it's because they are a deep soulmate with that two of cups. That's my twin flame card. I feel as though you see this connection is a lot more than just a physical chemistry. Um, and uh, you're moving towards them, I feel, with this cup of love, wanting to fight for this connection. And I feel as though they do want to reconcile if you're separated or you've just kind of just gone a bit quiet towards each other. And look at that. Yeah, I feel with that Queen of Pentacles and that Queen of Swords, I feel that this is your energy. A lot of queens coming out here. Um, so I feel as though I'm speaking to um, predominantly Aquarius females. I feel as though you have a lot of love for this person. You are stable, solid, um, and I feel as though you do speak your truth. They hold you as high in their high regard. Um, they hold you with high regard. You see this person as your ultimate soulmate. And I feel as though you both see each other as each other's divine counterpart for sure. Um, and I feel as though you're being guided to just know, yes, this is a very deep soulmate, possibly a twin flame. Um, ultimately, um, you are each other's ultimate soulmate. Um, you're a bit separated. If you look at the positions of the cards, if this was next like that, then I'd say that you guys are in union. But it feels as though um, you may have separated for a little bit. Um, and I feel as though uh, they're just coming, kind of having that aha moment, that realisation um, that actually they do want to be with you. Um, not too sure how you're feeling, but I feel as though uh, you do want to fight for this connection. Let's have a look at your advice cards. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your advice messages for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in Love? Thank you. Ah, oh, look at that. Believe in miracles, Aquarius. Remember your angels are always there to guide you. So if in doubt, um, ask them. That I feel as though they're coming in to say to you, there's no need to worry. The answer is yes, this person is coming forward. And look, the signs you are receiving are messages from your angels. So Aquarius, I feel as though your spirit team is strongly around you at this moment, especially if you felt there was some sort of doubt um, about this person it does feel as though you guys might have gone a bit quiet on each other slightly separated um and i feel as though that time has allowed this person to recognize that they do want to be with you um they see you as the one for them they know that they need to balance this out to reconcile speaking their truth because they see you as somebody that has unconditional love wants to fight for this connection and um, for you they are um, your ultimate soul connection, twin flame. And I feel as though you are solid 
um, 100% balanced, nurturing, grounded, and you will speak your truth. Um, and they see that both, I feel both of you see each other as divine counterparts. Okay, air signs, I think that's it yes all right i'm going to leave that there air signs if this message is resonating with you please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video it just helps to push this video out to more air signs out there also if you haven't subscribed already please feel free to subscribe particularly if you do want to know when i'm uploading the weeklies the weekend readings the monthlies um please feel free to click that notifications um, sign to, um, button on the subscription so that you get those notifications. All other information um, is down below in the description box. I've put the link in there for the yearly playlist as well. Um, and also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, all of that information is down below. Until next week, um, next weekend, um, Air signs, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye-bye.